we are again. Uh, we did say we'd never do another one of these. We've done yeah. two in a row. But after the year that he had in 2023, there was no way we couldn't come back once again and have another year <laughs> with Slim Kieran Bowman. Not only winner of the two litre banger world championship at Trackstar, he quickly followed that up with another title at Kingsland, being the 25 and under's Great British Championship. If that wasn't enough, he also claimed a third place at Ipswich for their Speedworth World Final and probably should have won the PRI down at Bristol as well. It's been a cracking year for Slim and to top it off was voted Driver of the Year from uh, Caged as well. So, cracking stuff. I don't know why, but he's paid me a fiver to wear his jumper as well today. Uh, good job with mates. You weren't meant to tell anyone about that, Matt. I know, mate, but how are you anyway? All right. Yeah, I'm good. Cold. Uh, it is cold out here. Uh, this is what I wanted to say. In all fairness, uh, James and Joe, if you yeah. have got our chairs, we'd like them back, wouldn't yeah. we, mate? Yeah, you got five hours, if not. You've just made the list. <laughs> it was an amazing season, wasn't it? Uh, mm. Cracking stuff. Yeah, it was good. Um, had a few good results and stuff. A couple of crashes, not many this year, but you know it's been a good, been a good year. Yeah, <coughs> we're going to start things off because obviously you said, "Oh, I'm going to cut down a bit," because obviously what a lot of people don't realise was how difficult it is with the business and everything like that. It's mm. growing from strength to strength. Um, and starting the year off at Kings Lynn, you said, "Oh, we'll do a bit of Kings Lynn, do a, a couple of you know, a few BWSs, and we'll, and we'll go from there." And in all honesty that is how it started yeah that's how it's that's how it was meant to have gone and um, obviously just got the i'm just got the business started up properly um so we thought we knew it was going to be hard to try and keep on top of everything mm. this year but you know trying to push the business as well um but as usual come towards the end of the year he's like right we'll do this meeting this meeting this meeting this meeting mm. so but yes yeah, it's, it's worked out good i suppose if you're having a bit of a slower year it might take you off the radar a little bit and it mm. certainly did for two little world and in all fairness it was a pretty flawless drive wasn't it to yeah was through that um well i started the race <laughs> i drove finished <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no um yeah that was it was just one of them races where it just went it just went well for me obviously started where did i start second i can't remember now that was in july it was i think it was second was it outside yeah outside yeah. front row um yeah. <laughs> I took too many knocks to the head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so started going and obviously there was a little bit of a mix up at the start with uh, down the back straight, managed to clear my way through that. Uh, and then really it was sort of not plain sailing as such, but I had a, um, didn't get caught up a lot towards no. throughout the race. So it worked out quite well, yeah. Because I've always said to you after, um, well, last year now, it was year before, <coughs> 2022, after you won, of course, Bandit Memorial, which yeah. is a trophy and a, and a race that means more than anything to mm. the to the family and the team yeah two stoppages in that to hold your nerve and to get the job done in that I, you know i said that there's definitely some titles in there and you always kept saying oh shut up matt shut up matt yeah. shut up <laughs> um i like to say normally i'm proved right and 2023 proved yeah. it really yeah it's been good like bandits was sort of it's a race that i always put the most pressure on myself to mm. win the rest of them didn't didn't matter in my eyes as long as I won that one. And when I did, I sort of <clears throat> realised I can do it. But you know what I'm like. I don't like to get all big-headed about things. So I try and keep sort of keep myself to myself. But this year's been really good as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. You don't like to be big-headed outside of the yard. That is a, no. That is a <laughs> inside's a different story. Um, but yeah, no, no. Yeah, I do like to sort of just try and knuckle down and get on with it. Really. Yeah, because in all fairness, Nick was going to film you doing some work, wasn't he? However. Mm. Yeah, it's, it, it wasn't impressive. Work. You work great. No, I do about twenty-five thousand steps a day, um, mostly because I'm trying to avoid Anthony because he'll get me to a job. But. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and whilst we're doing this, actually, Amph is now patrolling round the yard looking yeah. for you, isn't it? Yes, that's why we're hid out the back. Yeah, out the way. <laughs> a big title to win. Obviously, mm. a lot of drivers going for it. It was probably a quite a dominant display, really. Obviously, a bit different for you being in the seat. Um, but we've never had a race go flag to flag with a driver as comfortable as that at the front. You know, mm. obviously behind the seat, it wouldn't have felt like that. No, <laughs> no, I don't think I breathed the whole race. Um, no, normally I put a lot of pressure on myself. Obviously, in championship races, I should imagine a lot of drivers do. Mm. But after a couple of laps, I just stopped thinking about lap by lap and just took every corner at a time, mm. and you know, just really tried to 
sort of forget how many laps was left because yeah. when then the free lap board comes out and it feels like about four hours later yeah um but yeah it's, it's really good I just stopped stops trying to think about how many laps were left and more just getting through the next corner then the next corner then the next corner and it obviously worked out so yeah, yeah it did work out really well Yeah, I thought I'd just add a tang plastic to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, but it's how racing goes. Um, sometimes, I guess, you you know, you just have that little bit of unluckiness. Yeah. You've got quite a bit of distance between first and second. <clears throat> then the red flags and, you know, I had a bit of a false start myself. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's how it goes, so yeah. Yeah, I think it probably says quite a lot, doesn't it? You know, you're as competitive on tarmac as well. Shall, shall obviously, where you were bought up um, but you've adapted to tarmac as quickly as you have yeah I suppose so <laughs> yeah. no that, I do like Mendips it's a really nice track and um, that again that race was just I, every time I was getting behind someone that I'd either punt them out wide or, or they'd mess up and it was just working the path was just clearing for me all the time I never really got held up to be honest as so, so, such um, yeah but obviously the end is a different story but and then we roll into Ipswich was mm. after that a race again where in previous years you've been drawn way out of the way and it was just a case of learning yeah um, this year better grid draw don't ask me what it was because I can't remember but I think <coughs> seven four eight eight yeah and um, yeah you were in the leading pack the whole way around it, yeah it, it was good you know I mean it was a buzz watching it so it must have been you know one hell of a ride yeah you know during the race yeah, a bit slippy towards the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was another race. It just, again, it was just, I was always there or thereabouts. Started dropping off towards the end, yeah. but that was kind of my own fault, um, pushing too hard. But, you know, the, the car setup wasn't the best halfway through. It yeah. sort of changed, and that's really what ruined it. I got caught up on that Mark II Granada mm. uh, for a little bit, but then managed to catch back up and then drop off again. <clears throat> but it was one of them races where, Everyone's like, oh, you come third. And I'm like, yeah, but I could have come first yeah. if I'd have just done this or if I was just behind yeah. him. And then, you know, and then you start thinking, yeah, but if it, if I was behind him or there was another lap, 
but if there was another lap he'd have lunged at a different time and um browning would have lunged yeah. toughen at a different toughen would have lunged browning at yeah, a different yeah, time yeah. sorry and then um you know i wouldn't have, i wouldn't have been there anyway i'm just happy i got third Whatever to be honest you do, don't call it a smashing year because he ain't it <laughs> can we cut that can we cut that <laughs> <laughs> cheers bob yeah cheers bob <laughs> He's just made the list as well. He's just made the list. Um, but yeah, no, it was, you know, when I started thinking about it, I was happy with third. Um, but yeah, it was good. good yeah, and as you should be, really, because obviously there's some seasoned campaigners out there who, you know, just do tarmac or have been on tarmac for a long time. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot to learn. I've had a good season, but um, in my eyes, there's, there's always places you can improve and always races where you can look back on and think, oh, I shouldn't have done that, I should have gone for this instead. Um, but yeah, I was, I've, I've had a good year, I suppose. Yeah. I keep saying it. Some people that would be an incredible season. Mm -hmm. So then, obviously, being a 25 and under the Great British Championship, yeah, from a graded order position of right at the back, being yeah. a world champion, uh, to come through the pack, mm. just a, a sterling performance on a s surface that you enjoy. Yeah. Um, and to be quite frank, you, you won by some distance again. Yeah, it was good. A bit, <clears throat> bit boggy to start with because obviously the weather and stuff. Yeah. Um, but once it started drying up, it was. Uh, the rocket ship then <laughs> then come into play <coughs> which helped me out a lot um, yeah. but yeah that was yeah the car was just flying it was handling good um, a, again nothing really sort of in the way as such 
Uh, there was a couple of people, but nothing to hold me up. And then, yeah, I managed to come back with a win for that. Yeah. To be greeted with a dinosaur afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, you know, it, I want a bloke he is as well, by the way. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Matt. Yeah, oh, absolutely fantastic. right. Sometimes it suits it better than the actual person himself. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, listen, to get two major trophies in a season yeah. is uh, an incredible feat, really. Yeah. Speechless. <laughs> I, can't, I, don't, I don't honestly I, I don't know what to say I, you know I've not really I've won King of the Fens and stuff but I've not won a world final and then an under 25s I've you know I've not even won a world final yeah. and then to come in the top three of Ipswich as well it's just like I don't, I don't even know I haven't it hasn't sunk in really no and in all fairness if people know you know that you don't like bragging no or you no. know saying whatever you, you keep yourself to yourself you know the cabinet at the minute is uh, you know is blossoming it. Plenty of trophies well, in it. I'm not year. that fancy. I don't have the cabinet. <laughs> Window sills are full, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, <clears throat> it's good. I just got to if I if I am lucky enough to win any more major races, I've really got to brush up on my champagne popping skills because I'm, I'm terrible. I have to say, absolutely terrible. At one point, I thought. We're going to end up cancelling the race. <laughs> can we cancel the meeting? <laughs> Kieran can't pop his champagne. Let's talk about cars and meetings because you've mm. been at a couple of special meetings this year. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Nigel Riley's was a was a great weekend. Yeah. Um, apart from the rain. Apart from the rain, but the cars <coughs> were spectacular. Yes, uh, had the yank for Saturday night. Yeah. In my eyes, probably the best yank I've had. To be yeah. fair, it, we struggled to keep it going, oh, but okay. we we did manage to keep it going, and it you know it pulled off some good shots and lasted quite all meeting really. Mm. Normally, um, if anyone watches me race at yank, I <laughs> not very good in one. Don't but, bother uh, watching. Yeah, that one. <laughs> if you see me turn up at a yank, go home. <laughs> Waller's weekend as well. Uh, back in May. Yeah. Uh, decent meeting to get to. You seem mm. like you enjoyed yourself out there as well. Yeah, I think it was a Sunday yeah. I raced the Austin. That That's was right. had a race win in that, you know, because I'm a born champion. Yes. <laughs> race win in the Austin. <laughs> but <laughs> no, that was really good. Um, Monday in the Volvo, probably not so good. Yeah. But I blame lack of sleep on that one too. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah, you were too you busy know, celebrating that. Had yeah. a rough night in the tent, yeah. trying to sleep, trying to sleep, trying to sleep. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, not a very good day in the Volvo. But the Austin was uh, was really good day. Yeah, it, it was a fantastic day. I uh, think I had sorry to interrupt, but I think I probably had eight hog roasts over the course of the weekend. You know the hog roast rolls. Yeah, I definitely think you did. You were on the verge of missing a race. Right? Was, you yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. It's true. Yeah, I was too busy stuffing my face. So other meetings uh, last year, you had a good run round at Kingswind, considering you'd probably done half the amount of meetings that we have. You still mm. got, you know good finishes in both the Ports and Entertainer League? Yeah, and I've sort of stayed away from 1500s and Micros mm. this year, just gone. Um, not really done any, I think, I don't no. think. Maybe one or two. Yeah. Uh, had one at Stan Lake at the start of the year. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's what, it's been, yeah, it's a good finish com compared, considering I haven't done that many formulas, I mm. suppose. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Eastbourne. Eastbourne, Eastbourne was a good one to start with, had a frog eye, yeah. um, that was quite quick actually, in one of the races till my brake hose split halfway down the straight and I didn't realise to the corner. That is correct. Uh, that was good, then we went to Ipswich, Yank, so we won't say any more about that. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I genuinely can't remember. No, it's fair enough. It's been, a, it's been like, this year's just been yeah, a blur to be honest, yeah. as every year. 
caged mm. driver of the year voted yeah, for by the people which um I dread to think what's coming now because you know you, you know you're quite happy about that and yeah I'm mean, really you know, grateful when for you're that. around the pitch you won't say too much but you know when you're in the yard you don't stop hearing about it no <laughs> on about it 24 7 have you seen this have you seen that yeah. no i'm really grateful to be voted driver of the year yeah. um from case for a second year in a row yeah. um that's yeah just shows that you know although i've not been crashing as much this year people still yeah like me as a driver i guess yeah. um but yeah they you know uh, driver of the year by i don't know how many think it was a it was quite a margin to be honest yeah. um it was really really sort of nice to to see again so went to the nec yeah. um Saturday, Saturday, Saturday yeah. yeah. See little Alfie there. He was, you know, yeah. he was pleased. He said thanks for his birthday card and stuff. But obviously, he appreciated it and it yeah. sort of made his day. So that's yeah, yeah it was good. Icebreakers, yeah. Uh, three teams, yeah. For the unlimiteds, mm -hmm. um, couple of regulars not there, yeah. But some cracking guests, yeah. Yeah, as I said to you the other week, like I'd rather have guests of people who aren't as well known yeah. in the main mainstream banger racing as, as such um because they they just want to they want to be there more and they want to do the best they can yeah. whereas some people who are big names they don't yeah. they focus on their own yeah. things rather than trying to be a team yeah and um, for the day so you know win or lose as long as everyone has fun i don't i don't really mind yeah um massive shout out to jamie smith who's coming up for his third team yeah. now yeah uh and he's been a welcome addition to the squad yeah he's uh he might as well be overseas he's that far <laughs> away <laughs> but yeah no he's you know he's yeah third time i think you said um yeah he's and he's always keen for it yeah, always yeah. always tries to do the best he can yeah. so but that's all we look for in the team as yeah, a beast oh, yeah. i have a horror movie uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's beastie <laughs> he coming in <laughs> um, no, but obviously the beastie. Before we go on the six hundreds, yeah. I thought I could hear the lorry ticking.
cricket again. Yeah. Just having a good laugh, see how we get on. Uh, targets for next year. Have we got yeah. any set? We have, but I'm not disclosing that information. No. However, they will certainly be come to fruition and people will probably gather fairly early doors, won't they? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a hard year. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it looks like 2024 could be a, a decent season again. Yeah, hopefully. <clears throat> like, I don't like talking about it because you don't know where the year's going to take you. Yeah. Um, you could say you're going to do a lot and then something, you know, something might come up or like last year I was going to, not last year, the year before, sorry, I was going to go a load, do a load of travelling yeah. but then you start winning the points at Lynn and you've you got to try and stay on top of that so yeah. it sort of restricts your travelling a little bit. Mm. Um, but this year, yeah, the, the plan is to go for it. No, um, I just, yeah, I appreciate it. I say you know we we do we've done this for years and i've said the same thing really but mm. it's because i have so much support from people it's it's mad really the crowd you know everyone like they come up and they say oh good luck for this race and stuff and it, it really does go a long way it, it means a lot to me um so just thank you everyone for your support mm. you know my man fanner everyone in the in the yard and in the pits you uh for wearing my jumper even thank my pager you. Thank you. um yeah just just everyone really um Amph the most, but you know the score. Every, you know I say it a lot. Yeah, and at one point this year, I think we will raffle away a spot in the lorry, won't we? Oh. What, what do you reckon, Amph? Raffle. It's, it's, it's dangerous. dangerous. You, you've got to be prepared to expect. Yeah. A little enter bit of... enter the raffle at your own risk. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Should be good. And mm. uh, anything else in closing? don't think so is there anything else I should add no I don't think so I think that's um, it really probably just James and Joe just please yeah. return our chairs yes um, we've had to do this interview because yours was that bad <laughs> come on lads Nick's actually paid me five grand to yeah. do this interview you know what I mean isn't that right Nick yeah he's, he's nodding he's nodding he's nodding um, it's probably not right I'll, I'll be lucky if I got Mars bar out of it yeah I was going to say we ain't got anything uh, <laughs> yeah what do you say da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. We Norfolk, can't we... Norfolk weirdo that's what they call me <laughs> it is or, true uh... instead of Max Verstappen but um... <laughs> although I do drive like Max Verstappen I will have you know <laughs> right. but yeah but yeah so. there we go that was um, the 2023 yeah. edition yeah as I or like to say the 2024 edition as I always like to say back to you in studio <laughs> <laughs> thank you and good night <laughs> <laughs> you're, on, you're on me! <laughs>